All right, Algebra 1, we're going to start Chapter 7, but I do want to take a minute and just review some linear things because we're going to get away from them. So you want to make sure that you uh, remember how to do something like this. Slope intercept form, I get these two points, so we're going to find out uh, what we're going to do here. We're going to find out what the slope is, that's for sure. All right, so I might start with negative 4 minus 5. If I start with negative 4, I get to start with 1, 1 minus 4. Uh, this looks like I get negative 9 over negative 3, which is awesome because that means the slope is plain old 3. Uh, pick one of those ordered pairs. Uh, I might go with the two that are both positive, uh, even though I'm going to go into point slope form. So y minus 5, 3, and x minus 4. Keep in mind in point slope form, both of these, since the ordered pair is positive, both of these are going to be negative. Let's distribute y minus 5, 3x minus 12. All right, we're going to add the 5. All right, so let's get in slope intercept form which means I should start at negative seven on the y-axis and I'm gonna rise three and run one. So nice little quick review there um, because we're not gonna be doing that anytime soon here. So I wanna make sure we uh, touch base on that from now and then. All right, so we wanna try and figure out what's going on here. So I think the easiest thing to realize is two to the first power is just that, it's plain old two. All right, let me find a better color so that shows up nice. How about hot pink, that'll look good. All right, so two. Uh, what about 2 squared? Well, that's 4. And then uh, 4 times 2, because I need another one, is 8. And then uh, that times 2 is 16. So I can build those up pretty well. I just keep doubling, and that's kind of what we're working with. Uh, now, what happens in this 0 block, and I'm going to go ahead and circle all these. This is a definition, right? Anything to the 0 power becomes 1. And you kind of see this transition as we go down to this negative exponent. So 2 to the negative first turns into 1 over 2 to the first, which is just 1 over 2. So it's 1 half. So if I can do the top of my chart, then I can do the bottom of my chart. I just flip it over. Okay, so it's 1 over 4. With 10s, we know it's 10. Uh, 10 times another 10 is 100, right? 1,000 and 10,000. Okay, so this power, when we work with tens, is kind of nice. It tells me how many zeros to put on that bad boy right there. Right. Now, what if I flip it over? Right. The first power was just 10, so it's 1 over 10. The second power was 100, so it's 1 over 100. Okay, so those are our two rules for today. Uh, anything to the zero power is going to become 1. Okay. And if it has a negative exponent, we're going to change its location in the fraction. So that means if I had 1 over 2 to the negative first power, this will now become 2 to the first over 1. Notice I did the reciprocal here. And then it becomes plain old 2. Okay. Now, 1 stayed where it was. I just want to show that this is now in the top. Okay, so this 2 is going to move location in the fraction. Right? There's only top and bottom. Maybe that's too much. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so I know that 9 squared is 81. Since it's negative, right, it's going to be 1 over 81. Okay, so you got to resist that temptation to make it negative 81 and realize that a negative in the exponent doesn't change the sign. It only changes the fact that it's location because currently that's in the numerator. All right, so we're going to work with some parentheses here as well. Everything to the zero power means this turns out to be 1. Now, be careful because if I gave you negative 0.36 to the zero power written like this, this would be negative times a one, so it's negative one. Okay, so if you see this and you are using your calculator, then you wanna make sure that you use those parentheses on there appropriately. Okay, because if I don't, I will get the wrong answer. So just be careful with those. So it's a simple idea, I hope. Uh, it's a definition, right? Like this, this color is like a fuchsia because that's what we know it is. These two things are definitions. All right, so four to the third is 64. Since it's negative, it's one over 64. Again, we want to stay away from decimals here. So if you're trying to drive that into your calculator, you're using four exponent, negative three, right? It's going to tell you some sort of decimal. We don't want that. We should be able to do this without the use of that calculator, okay? If you're not sure what four to the third power is to get the 64, then just do four to the third on your calculator. It'll tell you 64 and then realize that it should be in the denominator. All right, uh, so what we'll do is kind of evaluate each factor here. Five is just fine, so I'll leave it where it is. A to the third is just fine. The B to the negative second should go to the bottom. Okay, so we start to identify those. 
right? Like we had said earlier, if it's negative exponent in the bottom, that means it should go to the top, right? And I don't technically need this over one. Uh, it would only be if something else were there. Okay? And if it is in the top, right? So if it looks like a, it doesn't look like a fraction, we can make it look like a fraction. So this is one over X to the ninth. And so I hope as we kind of work through these and model through them, you're like, yeah, I can do that. All right, so negative exponents and evaluating. All right, so what's the value of all this? Now, notice my base numbers, um, they can become negative here. So I don't want to deal with multiple negative things going on, right? We try and stay positive about all our work and what we're doing. So the first thing I want to do is rewrite this. So I have three, I have S cubed and that T squared is going to the bottom. And now what I'll do is actually plug in those values. All right, so order of operations, I do have to multiply with my uh, exponents, right? I have to do my exponents and then multiply. Almost misspoke there, okay? So I have to take care of two to the third. So that's gonna be two times two is four times two is eight. Okay, so make sure that's not six. And negative three times negative three is nine. All right, one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to reduce this before I go any further because I don't want to have to multiply it up and then bring it back down. So if I can reduce any of my factors <clears throat> top to bottom, we're going to do that. So I get 8 over 3. All right, we'll take that. If it's multiple choice and you have to match it, remember that would be 2 and 2 thirds. 2 and 2 thirds, right? Because I can get 2 of these gets me to 6 and there's 2 left over. 2 and 2 thirds. All right, now the reason I like to simplify it first is, you know, kind of based on this problem here. So n to the fourth is gonna go on the bottom, w to the zero power. So it doesn't matter what w's value is, I really don't care because that's gonna turn into one. So now well, this is all we have to do. Negative two, we're going to the fourth power. So negative times a negative times a negative times a negative is gonna be a positive, so I can ignore that. All right, so I want two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. Okay, so again, um, since this is negative two being taken to the fourth power, we're gonna end up with a positive, right? If it's a third power, if it's odds, it's gonna be negative, it's positive uh, because the exponent is even. All right, so these get used here and there, I'm trying to deal with these. So here's the uh, population of bacteria. So maybe this is something you would deal with in biology class. All right, so marine uh, bacteria, so in marine biology specifically, so they gave me an equation, right? H is the number of hours. Okay, uh, that's the only variable in here. So the scientists measure the population size, Evalu evaluate the expression from the beginning, right? When H is zero. So when H is zero, that means I have a thousand times two to the zero power. It means I have a thousand times one, that means I have a thousand. All right, does it tell me how they counted these? A thousand, whatever it is. All right, but then what happened is they said, well, that was at hour zero. What was it three hours ago? So that's a thousand times two to the negative third. So that's a thousand times one over two times two times two is eight. So I have a thousand over eight. Oh man. So how many bacteria were there three hours ago? So we can make a judgment on how quickly this is actually growing. All right, so there were 125 three hours ago, negative three, and then it grew to 1,000 in three hours. Okay, depending on what type of bacteria this is, that could be kind of concerning, right? Um, if it's uh, something that's uh, good for us and something we can use as medicine and stuff, that's awesome. All right, so quick check here. Let's make sure we got it. You ready? So you kind of want to pause it here, try these out, and then come back and we'll see if you got them. So pause it now. All right, welcome back. So this is going to be 1 over 4 squared. You guys know 4 times 4 is 16, so 1 16. All right, some impressive decimal. You're like, oh, no, i got to grab my calculator. Ah, what's happening? But it's to the zero power, so it just turns out to be 1. All right, and the next set, we just want to simplify, right? So I just want to rearrange some things. So just be careful here. 12 does have an imaginary exponent here, right? We don't see it, so I call that imaginary. Um, so it's 12 to the first power. So 12 is going to stay put, but y to the third and z to the fourth, they both have negatives. So they're going to the basement. Send them to the basement. Okay, 
And then this one here, two is the first power, it's gonna stay put. C to the negative seventh is on the bottom. So guess what? That guy is coming up to hang out with two to the seventh. If you put it over one, that's fine. All right, so that is no problem at all. All right, let's take a look here. Four, you're gonna stay put, all right? You guys know that uh, kind of the way we work through these is I wanna make sure anything with that positive exponent, leave it where it is. X to the third, you're going to the basement. All right, so let's plug in some values. So I get four, I get four squared, and we got negative two, and it's cubed. So let's see, negative two times negative two is four, times negative two is negative eight. Uh, here I got four times 16. That seems like a lot of stuff to do. So remember what we can do is any point when we're in here, now that I have all these uh, factors, I can just reduce some of these. So I might take out the four and say that's one, and that's, oh, that was a bad idea, right? And that's negative two. Well, what about 16 divided by negative two? Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's negative eight. Okay, so we're in good shape there. All right, so we have another one of these. Uh, we're trying to deal with a uh, number of uh, website uh, visitors every month. Okay, so we have 29,000. Again, we wanna plug in zero. Okay, so hopefully you get the idea. If I plug in zero, I'm gonna get just 29,200 because two to the zero is going to be one. Now, what about t to the negative third? So that's 29,200. So this is what, three months ago? Is that what they're talking about? t is months? So at two to the negative third. Okay, so 29,200. And this is going to become one over eight. So we're going to take 29,200. Here we go, 29,200. We're going to divide it by eight. And guess what? Three months ago, this website only had 3,650 visitors. So they're definitely doing something to catch wind of, uh, you know, get some traffic there. All right, so there's the lesson check in here if you want to try them out. We can do that. Otherwise, uh, you know, we have some homework down below. I'm going to cut this up and uh, give you a little more space there so we can do that. But we are going to cover all these. Notice we do have some review stuff in here as well and just dealing with some tables to put them together. That's the beginning of chapter seven. Let's do this.